Hey fellow YouTubers, uh, today I am going to work on doing a small but somewhat of a big job modification on uh, my truck. One of the things that my wife was complaining the other day was that <clears throat> for a very expensive truck, they did not put a glove compartment light. So I'm going to see if I can install one in there. I have... Uh, Two of these lights this is a red one and then this is a blue one LED don't know which one I'm gonna put in I'm also gonna add a USB double um, charging port in there uh, as extra it's gonna be somewhere in the bottom of the console and then uh, what they call under the dash floor lights um, and I chose to do the Op 7. It had good reviews by people on YouTube, so I'm going to give it a shot. This thing comes with four lights, but I am only going to install two of them. Um, uh, with that said, I'm also going to say that what I'm going to do, I take responsibility for it. And those who choose to do the same... Um, you will be responsible for your your doing uh, being that there is a part of this where you have to play around with the airbag so the idea here is to add a light to this glove compartment and right now I have a USB uh, port charger here although I can probably take it out of the back side of this uh, storage compartment but I don't want to do that I'm thinking of putting it somewhere down here but I haven't decided yet um, so here here's the thing for to do this I need to remove this glove compartment and reason why is because I need to know where exactly I'm gonna put the toggle switch it might be putting it somewhere around here and the light somewhere around here I also need to take this uh, part of the of the console out because I need to take power out of here for the the under light floors. I'm also going to add a customized switch where I can turn them on and off so that I don't have them on all the time. And I also need to get power, and I have to see where I'm going to set that uh, USB port plug and then for the for the glove compartment there is actually a little light here underneath here and if I can show you that I am gonna tap a wire from there and bring it up into the glove compartment that's gonna allow me to do is that most vehicles that I've I've seen like my old Tundra uh, the minute you turn the ignition on, that light in the glove compartment stayed on. I want it so that when I run the night light, it'll activate this this bulb. It'll have power, but it won't be on until I open the glove compartment. So, and there's going to be quite a bit of things I need to take down. And one of them has to do with this console. There's actually two screws in the back of this thing here, 10 millimeter, that I'm going to have to go in, loosen it up, undo this, undo this. This actually has a wire feed that's coming off from the right side of the console. I have to disconnect that. And then just kind of finagle this out. Now, here's the thing. I've seen people, I saw one guy on YouTube that... Um, he couldn't take this out somehow this is kind of s strapped here some way that you cannot pull this lower part of the the console but I'm gonna look into it to see if there is a way because if they got it on here it has to have a way of coming off but if I can I'll just swing it off to the um, to the side but this part here I'm gonna have to take that lower part of the uh, of the dashboard because there's actually some screws holding this on that side. The same here, the screws 
the screws up in the far corner here. All this trim will come off. It's all clipped, but I have to start with the side clip here, this here. So it's going to be quite a bit of a lot of stuff removing. And then, uh, you know, I'll take it step by step. Also, when you start doing this project, you're going to have to disconnect the negative side of the battery. Because this bottom portion here is where your airbag is. You need to give it 60, no, I'm sorry, 90 minutes. Or 90 minutes. 90 seconds, correction, 90 seconds of a downtime so that it de-energizes the, uh, the system and then uh, then you can go ahead and remove this out now I'm understanding that once you drop this out there will be enough wire for the airbag to drop but uh, there is a manual that uh, shows where you can disconnect it and pull the airbag off to the side I'm gonna try not to do that I'm basically gonna have have it drop enough because I, I, there's no reason for me to take out the airbag except just move it out of the way so I can get to this console. Uh, so just be aware that once you start working on this, you need to have no power whatsoever running on this system here. So the tools that I'll be using to remove the trim are these plastic uh, tools. You can find these on eBay. I think it costs two bucks or something like that with free shipping wasn't really expensive <coughs> excuse me I'm dealing with a cold um, I don't like using screwdrivers per se or even putting tapes at the end of the screwdrivers to take out trims I think that really damages the trim whereas if you use this plastic it's just plastic and it's more forgiving um, and this is the route I'm gonna go and basically anything I've done with this truck is I've I've removed I used this these uh, plastic prying tools okay so the next thing I did was I loosened this screw here now this trim is held by a screw right here so you have to take this out but in order to do that you need to take the floor trim off and the kick the uh, kick plastic on the side or the kick floor plastic on the side you gotta pull that out and then all this gets pulled out it'll come all together uh, the side panel is actually clipped into the front trim here so I have a screw here and obviously I gotta empty out that glove compartment I already disconnected my battery because not only is there a airbag down here but there's also one up here um, so I'm going to loosen these screws, there's a screw here, and I believe there's another one somewhere around here, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of a, a job, I believe there's a screw right here somewhere, I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a notation of it. Alright, so, this is what I've done so far, and I know it looks pretty scary, but uh, if you take your time, you can do it without not breaking anything. One of the biggest issues that I saw when guys were taking these things apart um, had to do with the emergency brake sock. Um, they couldn't figure out how to get this thing off. Um, and all it is is just a wire. It's got a little ridge here. And then if you look at the center console, it's got little tabs. Oops, sorry. It's got little tabs here. You just got to pull the wire out and slide that whole uh, shift out of this. So this is out of the way. Um, I cannot take that glove compartment unless I take that lower piece out first. And it's a lot of dismantling, but um, it's doable. So, and I'm also seeing that these guys use vampire grips here to power off whatever it is is powering there I'm, I'm not even that sure about it another thing too I came across which is kind of weird uh, this cable here is your reset for I guess your maintenance but then this wire goes to nothing it is actually was sitting somewhere in here and I don't know if this is to add uh, accessories or what but it's there 
Uh, I cannot, for the life of me, see what attaches to that. All this here, I know where it goes. Um, that's an easy, you know, step to put all together. But I, I put blue tape here just so I don't mix this up with the stuff up here. All right. So, all right. So I'll I'll continue here and I'll keep showing you what I'm doing. All right, guys. So you cannot take the glove compartment until you establish taking this center piece off. And you have to be aware that when you're taking this off, there is a clip here that clips behind this. So you just can't pry it out. Make sure you do, don't do that because you're going to end up breaking this. You have to take your time with it and it's very difficult to remove. Now, what's holding my glove compartment is this screw right here. I just got to knock that out and then the glove compartment is, is loose. Then I can do all my modification on there. I'm going to leave this on for now because I am going to tap electricity off of this little light bulb here. And the bulb that I'm using as an LED is, um, is very low voltage. So I'm going to tap off of this. Here's another wire, free floating. I have no idea what's it for. I think that as you add accessories to this vehicle, it um, they have it there ready to do. And then there's another one here. I know what this one is for. This is for uh, the TRDs have what they call the OnQ charging pad. So you can throw your, your phone right on the top of that console and it will charge your, uh, your phone. But um, I, I don't think I need that. Anyway, that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one off. I don't need this plug. I'm going to put a USB plug in, in here. This is a 12 volt uh, plug. And quite honestly, it's kind of render useless. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out and put the other one I bought, and it should work out. It should work out pretty good. Uh, the wire is there, and so okay. So the glove compartment is off. Um, I took the screw out, thinking that that was holding the glove compartment, but it's not. It's actually a screw here. So in order to get to that, you have to take the trim off of the airbag out. There is enough service wire here, so I am not going to fuck with, the, oops, excuse the French, I am not going to mess around with the, with the wiring on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this back in here and um, kind of let it lay at rest with a, with a screw holding that there for, for the meantime. Um, there's a lot of stuff taken apart here, but... Um, I'll get it back together. That's that's not the problem. The the real issue was taking it apart without not breaking anything, and I succeeded in doing that. Nothing got broken. Everything came out smoothly. Just took my time. I looked at everything. So with that, I'm sharing this information to you guys. If you decide to do the same, as I say, uh, you do this on your own risk. Um, if you're gonna do it, take your time. Okay, guys. So. Instead of having the airbag dangling here, I just put the three screws back on, right here, right here, and keep the airbag supported. I did not disconnect my wire. Uh, I am now going to go to the glove compartment, and I'm going to study how I am going to put the on and off switch and where I'm going to place the light bulb. And then... I'm going to get my test voltmeter and see which one of these wires actually has power. I want to say that it's probably the green one that's giving power, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so the goal here is to put one of these switches. Now, I bought two of them because I wasn't sure what I was going to encounter and how much space I had and what I needed to do. So... Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Sorry, guys. Alright, so there's actually a nipple here. 
and I'm thinking I'm just gonna pop that nipple out and drop this switch in here I have enough leeway to put it in and be able to run the uh, you know the power to this and the ground um, and basically when you close it this switch will be pushed in and it'll toggle off the uh, the light inside so I took the nipple off uh, and I think I'm gonna use this switch because it's gonna fall exactly in there and that's kind of drill out the hole here so I can thread this through and then lock it on the other side and then somewhere along here I'm gonna run the wire but I also have to find where I'm gonna put the light bulb inside of this thing and then I'll put it out you know I'll run a test to it but as you can see you you know where I took the nipple it, it'll be a perfect place for where that switch can turn on and off um, I don't think I can put it in anywhere else here because I think this goes flush against uh, the other piece of the mount and here there's nothing that is going to stop that switch once I put this box back in there okay so the next thing I'm doing is um, I'm going to test to make sure the switch is working the way it should work so right now the light is off so when I open this glove compartment there you go you got light right and then when I close it is off when I turn it on is on off on, off on it actually worked pretty well here's the switch what it looks like um, my thing now is to find where to put this bulb and I think I'm gonna go with blue I don't know about the red um, so here's the blue one this is what the blue one looks like I actually think I like the blue put on the blue in here Oops, I don't have this rigged the way I should, but anyway, you get the picture here. Uh, red and blue. I think I'm going to go with the blue because that's the theme of the console of the truck. So I think I'm going to go with the red. I like the way it looks. It's the red. I did the blue and I don't know, somehow red looks much brighter. Blue is kind of darker. So we're going to do a red for sure. But regardless what, I'm going to make it so that I can change them out, um, easy access to turning, you know, changing them out. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm looking for power here. And I want to take power from this for the glove box, which is 12 volt running through there. And then power for this for the floor lights. The purple is providing me current. And on this one, it's the green. So, alright guys, I'm sorry my battery died on my GoPro, but uh, I did establish the light that, uh, the light that I'm going to be tapping for the glove compartments, 12 volts, the LED that I have is uh, very low voltage, so at night when I turn this on, my blue light will turn on, and I can turn it off. Um, uh, reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want a constant power on when I open the glove compartment I only want it to turn on at night when I'm using my running lights so that's that's the source I'm going to be tapping there now the next source that I'm going to look for for the floor lights that one I don't care because that's going to have a designated switch and I can turn that one on and off whenever I want if I don't want those lights on um, and that's going to come off of the um, the uh, cigarette lighter. Um, all right, so I um, got rid of this useless plug in my um, glove compartment, glove compartment in the console compartment, and I put this plug in. It's got USB ports in it, so now. Where I didn't have this option, I actually have this option now, and um, you can see that it's uh, it's had a charge. All right, so I had to come back with the glove compartment. The switch works well here; it's cleared, but this here 
you got to make sure that when you put the glove compartment that the light is not going to hit that. And so I kind of measured out where exactly I need to put that light. And the other thing too is you got this bracket here that can get in the way. So your best bet is to um, refit the glove compartment back again. Drop the airbag out. Refit the glove compartment in. And then take your measurements off of that. Alright guys, so... I got all my wiring done for my lights. It's very clean. Um, here's for my glove compartment there. And now I'm going to start putting everything back. Everything works. And I'll show you the end result of this. Um, it has been some somewhat of a challenge, but we've gotten all around that. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, a little tip when you're gonna put this dust cover back on you have to invert it back up Otherwise, you're not gonna get it in trying to put it on when you put the console in um, This way you can You know kind of finagle the uh, the wire into this groove that is that it sits in um, Take my word of advice otherwise you're gonna you're gonna end up mucking around with that for a good while if you don't do it this way it's really easier to do it do it you know this way out so I finally put everything together this is what everything looks like um, and uh, I just want to show you what um, I got here the end result of Putting everything uh, together. So, one of the keys that I want, let me shut that radio off. Uh, one of the things that I, I wanted to have was a light in my glove compartment. So, when I put my running lights, I'll show you right now. Okay, so there's no light there. When I put my running lights, now I have a light. Lights up my glove compartment. And uh, I have a custom switch. And this is, um, let me get that, turn on the, uh, so this is what it looks like here. And it goes through different colors if I want to fade it. It does a uh, fade. Got to find it here first. So di different colors. But I'm basically going to stick with the, the blue light. And I can dim these down even more. Um, so what's nice is that I had a custom made switch here. And so everything came together nicely. Uh, I didn't think I was able to, but I did get it to work out. Thanks for watching.